Hello, this is uh, Sichamba Jacob. All right, so I've got this question with me right here. So I've been asked to find the bearing of uh, P from uh, uh, L. So where is P? P is right here. L is uh, here. So what do you do? You go to where it says from. So from L and make your north line like that. So this is our north line. That's the first thing. Next, try to show how you're supposed to move. So you're supposed to move from uh, the north line. You move like that up until you touch the line that is joining the two points, P and L. So now this is the bearing that we need to, to find. So now to find this bearing, there are so many ways on how we can find it. We can either extend this line, okay? And we know that the angle right here is 180 degrees from uh, here up to here. So now we need to find uh, the angle from uh, here to here, like from here to here, so that we can add them, okay? So now, how do you find this angle? We, uh, this angle right here, I'll tell you that it's, uh, you, you, you will add 75, this 75 plus 50, which will give us, uh, 125 degrees so this angle from here up to here is 125 so how did i know i'd use this idea there's this property okay so when you've got uh, two parallel lines and uh, the angle that is right here is equal to the angle that will be here and if you extend it also be equal to the angle that will be here so if this is uh, 120 this is also 120 i'm just giving an example this is also 120 this is 120 and this other side okay this other side will be equal to it will be equal to 60 degrees because i'm using the property of a straight line 180 minus 120 is 60 the other 60 is right here the other 60 is right here so this is the property i'm going to use or which i've used to find uh, uh, to find this 125. So how did I use it? There is this line, which is similar to this. There is this parallel line, which is uh, similar to this, and this also similar to this. So meaning the angle which will be right here will be equal to the angle which will be here. So I just got this part. I said the angle which is right here will be equal to the angle which will be right here. The one I found, the 120. So on how to find now the angle which is right here, I added 75 plus 50, which gave me 120, uh, 125 degrees. So now after doing that, you now come and say 180 degrees plus 125 degrees. What are we getting? What is the answer there? When you add 125 plus 180, we're getting a 300 degrees. So this is the solution for question A, this question. Okay, hopefully you've gotten the idea. The next question, they are saying we calculate QL. So we want to find this length, QL, QL. So we'll call this length as X. So if you can see, this is trig. We are going to use cosine rule where we shall have a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2ab cos a. This is what we are going to use. So what are we looking for? It's x. This x right here. So we put x here. b will be 17 squared here, this side. And our c will be a 20 there 20 squared minus 2 17 there as our a 20 as our b cos 50 degrees the angle which is right here inside the 50 degrees thereafter we punch on our calculator what are we getting so if we say 17 squared what is it that we're getting we're getting a 289 plus a 400 here because 20 squared is a 400 minus 
So if we say 2 times 17 times 20 times cos 50, what are we getting? We're getting a 437.09555746. This is what we're getting. So we say x squared is equal to, we now punch everything on our calculator, okay? So we have uh, there uh, 289 plus 400 minus um, 437.0955746. We're getting a, we're getting a 251.904. Four two five four. So to solve for x, we square both sides. So the value of x will be equal to fifteen point nine kilometers. So this is in three significant figures. This is our solution. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet done so. Like the video and comment. Bye-bye.